Hey guys, this is Pita from NIP. Today I'm going to show you five tips on T side of train. <music> Tip number one how to gain map control. The uh, best possible way to get the map control is if you can get alley and also inner. The uh, reason why is that from this position towards inner is the furthest way. Uh, we'll make sure that the CTs have to gamble uh, on where they need to stack. Uh, if you can get the IV or alley control early, you will force this guy also to use his nades. And after that, he either has to stay defensive or call a teammate to rotate and help him. If you know how your opponent play, that's when you can punish them and go inside because you've also taken inside control. So that's, that's tip number one. Tip number two is how you can get an entry on this map. Uh, fastest way on this map to get an entry is from T main. Uh, this peak is very usual that CTs take early. As a teammate to an AWP or aggressive A case, you can go and you can give them a good flash. Either you go this, or you go deep and throw it deep like this. This will force the guy holding connector, force him to either dodge the flash or eat the flash. That will enable your teammates to cross out and get, it, get into good positions here. The important thing on this flash also is that you call when you flash and your teammate also needs to save when they're ready. A flashbang takes two seconds to pop, so you need to find the timing on when exactly to call the flash, depending on how you move and how fast you go. So two seconds, find the timing. Tip number three is how you can use some nades when you do an inner execution. Uh, the usual nades uh, that you can use is a lower smoke. You can also use a bug smoke but it's not a bug smoke you can get the smoke to land here what this smoke enables you if you have an op player in your team is that you can look over the smoke so when the CTs go out here they won't have the same visibility towards you as you will have on them also this smokes of course also enables your teammate to push down with the AKs without having to worry about this guy if you also want to maximize so that you don't have a guy spraying the smoke, you can also use a Molotov to Molotov off this here and here. And it's easy to throw from inside. Just go up here close. You can just aim like this. He stands here, he will burn. There's different ways of throwing this Molotov. Uh, just make sure that you practice it and then you will be, have a good inside with this smoke and this small top. If you have a guy go, going upper, you can have uh, smoke instead of doing this regular smoke that blocks off the whole upper. You can instead throw a smoke that will make a one way for you. So you can either stand behind the smoke or you can push through it. Uh, the way to do the smoke is that you will go into this corner here. So you make sure you get stuck in the corner. You will use this line and you will also use these two lines here. So you want to make sure it's in the middle by using this one here. So you go like that. Now I'm somewhere in the middle. I throw the smoke and it lands on the edge. So you get the whole block here. You can make sure no one is holding these angles. And when you feel comfortable, you can go to the right side and you will have a possible way of getting through the smoke higher. From a CT's perspective, if they stand here, they will just see a smoke and they will most likely do something like this, trying to get peaks from upper. If you don't want to have the lower smoke here close, you can throw deep smokes. You can use a smoke that lands here and also a smoke that lands here. If you do these two smokes, then you need to make sure that you're actually also pushing because these smokes enables you to get up close. Uh, so throwing these two smokes here will make sure that you can gain close combats. 
And as a CT, it's much more difficult going out close combat, knowing that the T's are around this tray. So making sure doing that, going in back here, you can just line up here and just throw it, walking through it. And you get this smoke here, blocking off this one here. The other smoke towards the two, uh, two and three train, you can just go in here and just throw it and it will land here. But you get to block off this as well. So these are some useful smokes that you can have when you do an inner execution. Uh, the Molotovs also is important that you can use. Uh, this one here is really good. Uh, also, uh, the guy going upper, if he has the possibility to Molotov off this position, that will just force the CTs to go into positions where they cannot uh, escape from. And that's what you want. Since you are doing an in execution, you will always have, have a trade. Tip number four, uh, how do you want to remove a CT from standing in ladder room? Uh, everyone knows that going down a staircase against the CT holding the angle, it's very difficult. Even if you jump or go down, the CT will have advantage. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to take back uh, the ladder room. Uh, usually, most of the ways used are very risky. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, there is some ways that you can do it more safely and that's when you need to have good communication with your team because you need to use uh, people from team main and also a guy from uh, above ladder. Uh, so if you know that you're playing against a CT side that always takes ladder room you can just call it from T-spawn that we're gonna take back ladder but if you don't know if it's in the beginning of the game um, just make sure you have good communication. Uh, since you most likely will have one guy going inside all the time, maybe two, it's really important that these guys here call if there is a guy in the ladder room. And what you can do by that is that when this guy is ready to throw a nade, he can bounce off a nade that goes deep into here. The CT that will stand here will most likely try to dodge the nade. He will go outside and go back in. That's when on the timing, you also throw a flash. So you have one guy standing outside team main throwing a flash. This flash will pop here. You will have one guy ready in team main who will go out on the flash. So you throw the nade and the flash at the same time. And the reason why is because the nade and the flash, they have the same uh, speed and the same time to explode. So two seconds on both. So meaning that when the uh, nade explodes, that's when the flash also will explode if you throw them at the same time. You have this guy ready here. The reason why you throw the flash is because most likely someone will cover teammate. So you want to make sure that this guy doesn't run into an op, maybe holding an angle like this or like this, or have someone st standing like this. So this flash enables you to flash the guy holding a team mid, meaning that this guy who's standing in ladder room will be totally open. So this flash, when it pops, he will most likely get killed in the back. And you have this guy ready, flash comes, Nade pops, strafe out, kill him, and back in. That's how you get an entry and you remove the guy from ladder. And then this guy here, who, who threw the nade, he can take down, take ladder room, and he doesn't need to risk his life in this round. Tip number five is how you can play after plants in the best possible way. Here, if you are a T, you will have a bigger advantage of winning the round if you get the plants because there's a lot of positions that you can hide and as you see there's no, not much close combat corners you can play from very different angles uh, however if you want to make sure when the guy is planting you need to make sure that he cannot get pushed from alley or from old bomb train so getting this plant you need to make sure no one can kill him from here, no one can jump up from here, and no one can push up from here. So pre-plant positions when the guy is planting, is this one is really good. That will make sure you will block off this hole here. Before you do it, make sure that you clear Ivy here. Because a CT coming from here, he will not have the time to run all the, all the way and kill this guy planting. Because it takes too long time. Also, if he wants to run and kill the planter, this guy here will hear him. So if you're a guy going CT cut, 
your teammates saying I'm planting, make sure you clear this. You don't see anyone back Ivy and you go and hold this position. So you will make sure he won't be killed from this here. And then you can have, have a guy making sure that they cannot push out from CT uh, main. And that's usually an op where he's good in this position and holding this angle. Or from electric holding the uh, ladder room. If this guy gets the contact they're going outside, he can just strafe on it. When the bomb is planted, you can play passive from here because there's a lot of things that you can do. For an example, if you have a Molotov, you can play super passive inside the uh, ladder room and then you can just throw a Molotov out here and you can get the guy trying to defuse. If you're trying to defuse, you can get from here. So that's my last tip uh, how to do at the back.